you believe in the Bible, answer these questions. Now, only one answers. I don't need no you lost or you dumb or none of that shit. Just answer my questions, please. Now, all these answers should match because y'all all believe the same book. So in the Bible, it says Adam and Eve was the first people on this earth, right? But then how did all other races evolve? If two Caucasian people or whatever race they was, how could they possibly make other races? And better yet, wouldn't we all be related? Another question, Noah's Ark. My guy, honestly, it kind of make me sad how nobody in the comments can answer this man's questions. But I can. Alright, so first what you messed up at is when you brought up Adam and Eve and saying how two Caucasians can make other races. Let's start off by saying Adam and Eve was not white, they was not Caucasian. But two black people can make other races. Which is called the Eve gene. You can just go read up on that yourself. Not to mention the oldest bone found in the world is from a black woman. Now let's get to the book of Enoch, which was taken out of the Bible. The book of Enoch was taken out of the Bible because it was rejected by the Jews. Because it contained prophecies pertaining to Christ. Now let's get into how other races was really made while using the Bible. Scientists honestly proved that the Bible was real without even knowing it, honestly. When they found out about the Neanderthal DNA. I do not know if y'all know about the fallen angels. Everybody in this world was black to start off with. The fallen angels were sent down here to watch over the people. But instead, they started having sexual intercourse with the people. With the fallen angels having sexual intercourse with the people and disobeying God, they had kids and created giants. Which then giants started to have kids, which created Nephilims. And when the Nephilims began to have kids, they created Neanderthals. Which scientists proved that Neanderthals did exist. Which then the Neanderthals began to have kids. And not only that, where those people was living, there was a lot of sun. The Neanderthals couldn't take the heat. So they hibernated to the Caucasus Mountains. Which then the Neanderthals began to have kids, which began to create this. Caucasians were made, not born. It's a mutation. Also, and since you talked about the bloodline, God speaks about how after the third or fourth generation, you lose a certain bloodline. Kind of like if a black person have a kid with a white person. That kid is 50% black, 50% white. Then say that kid goes back to a black person. Now that kid is going to be 75% black, 25% white. Then after that kid goes back to a black person, that kid is still going to have an itsy bitsy piece of a white DNA. But after that kid goes back to a black person, the white has disappeared. And is soon to go back to its natural race. And is soon to go back to its natural race. So sooner or later, that whole bloodline will be wiped out. So think about where that bloodline will be at after thousands of years has passed. You had a lot of questions, so now I got to make a part two.